Hey guys, welcome back to Diecast Reviews. So I'm to review on Tractor Ghost, who appeared in the Light Out episode of Cars on the Road. He was one of the ghosts that uh, McQueen encountered, obviously, as you can tell by his name, Tractor Ghost. Um, so you can see he's got the new for 2024 sticker there. I do like his car door kind of floating, as he did in the uh, episode. I do like the expression there. I really do like the car doors on the, especially the Cars on the Road characters themselves as a whole. I think has gotten really good at the uh, car doors. I think, I'll say, I think they've improved um, over time as they, I think the characters have more unique poses. Um, so, you know, I, I do like the card art. See a lot of different names there for the tractor in a lot of different languages. Looks like Spanish, French, and Portuguese, maybe. Now, I think, you know, we're at a point where Tractor Ghost is not a very acceptable name. I think Mattel or Disney or whoever's in charge of naming the characters really could have given him a better name, a more creative name, an actual name. Um, because Tractor Ghost just sounds a little weird. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I would have preferred a real name, but let me know what you guys think. I think it, it would have been, you know, they named Mallory Carhart, right? They didn't name this, uh, old car ghost or whatever, but they gave her an actual name, so I think they could have given Tractor Ghost an actual name and not just Tractor Ghost. See some of the other cars here for 2024 that are from Cars on the Road. Um, Randy I've seen is the 2023 packaging. Mallory Carhart is becoming a peg warmer, which is unfortunate. I really haven't seen her that much, so she's not becoming that much of a peg warmer. Uh, I've saw a lot of, like, these two are in the same case in Walmart. Saw a lot of her. Not have not seen a lot of her in that from that case. So, I guess that's good for um, her there. But Mallory, uh, kind of being a peg warmer. Rodette, I think, will be a peg warmer. Gerson's definitely a peg warmer. And uh, he used to, like, there was a time when Target put up, like, all the Targets got Case J, I believe, that is in. So, there's a lot of uh, Cryptid Buster Mater and... Uh, Jeremy and stuff like that, but uh, they seem to have kind of moved on from that. But uh, there was a point maybe back in February that uh, there was a lot of uh, those guys that case in stores. Anyways, that's enough rambling. Let's get Tractor Ghost here out of the package. So here is Tractor Ghost out of the package, and he does look pretty cool. Um, let's get right into the review, I guess. I do really like the expression. He kind of, he's looking off to the side. Uh, to the left, or I guess his right, but, uh, if you look at it this way, he's looking to the left, but his right, obviously. Um, yeah, I do like the expression. I like when the, uh, eyes are kind of angled in a different direction. I'm glad that they've done it here. I guess the mouth could use a little bit of work. I guess I think there'd be more, if you look at the card art here, it's a bit more of a frown or whatever. Right, no, he's a little sad here. He's kind of happy, so I guess to match the card they can make it a frown, probably be a little more on in point or on character for him. But um, yeah, he looks pretty good. I do like the expression. I've just got the uh, smoke sack there. All he's just all this one green color. Um, but got the smoke sack there going right kind of between his eyes there, at least from this angle. He's got the kind of grill here that is textured. You can see he's got these tiny wheels in the front that don't have any, you know, detail to them or whatever. But uh, they do roll. But they are also painted just green, which is the metallic kind of rod in between them. He's got the open engine here, as a lot of the tractors do. Actually, all the tractors do. But uh, you can see the insides there are also painted green. Um, I have this tractor over here just to bring out a comparison class, clutch aid racing tractor. But you can see the insides here are painted a different color. Um, gray as they would be probably, as an engine would be kind of gray there. But here it's green, so I guess it just shows once you're a ghost, everything becomes transparent, including the engine inside. Um, but yeah, there you go. Let's see, it is kind of open to see inside the engine. It's pretty cool. Uh, probably one of the only die cast molds that kind of has that. Kind of, I guess, kind of like an opening to see the insides, if you will. Um, obviously, the tractors have this big wheel in the back that's kind of got this texture on it. Kind of like an off-road tire, I guess, or whatever. But you can see the tire is uh, green, the, rim, the rims are green, lug nuts are green. Everything's just the same shade of green. Got the fender there, also green. For the back here, nothing interesting on the back. No license plate, no, no nothing. Solid green, I guess. 
an imitation or an outline of where a window would go there. Just green on the back. It's got the uh, fender and stuff on this side. I mean, I do like the green. I like the green that they use for the ghost. It looks pretty cool. Take a look at the base here. Um, see, they have all this on all the uh, tractors. It's pretty funny. But uh, S48A is one date stamp, you can see. Um, it's interesting. So this is like the last month, I guess, uh, very end of November, very early December, when this was made. So... I'm wondering when we're going to start seeing cars that were made in 2024, because this is April. Uh, you guys, I'm recording this, I found this today, actually, uh, and recording this on the same day, April 10th. Found this one, and you can see back there, Cave Mater and uh, McQueen with Slime, Case D and Target, April 10th. Um, I'm recording it April 10th, so April, and they're still made, releasing cars made in 2023, so maybe, I guess, May, we'll start seeing cars made in 2024. Not that it really matters when they're made, but just interesting to... Uh, think about I guess but yeah there you go S48A of course if you didn't understand what this was it's an udder which <laughs> pretty funny that they've been putting that on tractors all the way since 2006 so um, yeah but uh, let's compare them to a another tractor I obviously showed briefly here clutch 8 racing tractor first off there's a huge difference in the eye size jeez okay uh, you can see the ghost tractor. I mean, uh, the clutch eight tractor has eyes that are what two, three times the size, which is insane, but okay. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, other than that, obviously, you can see both have these grills in the front. You can see that clutch eight racing tractor has a smile that's all teeth, whereas I guess the ghost tractor has a uh, no tongue, no teeth, no nothing. Um, but yeah, the expressions are obviously different there go to the side now i do like that they did with clutch aid racing tractor they actually added the text of very small tire here um i'll see i wouldn't blame them if they overlook that they tend to do that sometimes but tell just overlooks the little details but uh, you know props to them for adding the text there um yeah obviously this tire is just solid green you can see the engine obviously opening on both see a lot more detail on the tire here for the uh, clutch aid racing tractor also obviously a lot more detail on the back but uh obviously one is meant to be detailed and the other isn't but there you go there's the comparison between the tractors see there's the base um let's put up a picture of where ghost tractor appeared in the movie or in the short uh, obviously yeah, just a split kind of second appearance but he was there and i do hope they they have a lot of potential with the ghosts all the ghosts in the room they have a lot of potential there so i do hope they take it and capitalize on it obviously with mallory carhut they did Tractor Ghost, which is a bit of an easier uh, release. Obviously, because he's just a repaint, they did have to make a new mold for Mallory here. But uh, there's a lot more potential in the room there for Ghost, so I do hope they go and take it. But there you can see he is next to Mallory. Um, I think they look good together. I do, you know, I think it'll be really cool to get a, a collection of these Ghosts. Like I said, really do hope they take the opportunity that they're, they're given there with the Ghosts, because uh, it'd be just great to have a whole bunch of these green cars but uh, yeah there he is next to mallory let me know what you got which one you guys like more i think a lot of us will have to go with mallory because uh more unique casting obviously than tractor ghost she's even got a license plate there but yeah obviously tractor we've seen a lot of tractors over the years mallory more of a unique casting but uh, yeah, let me know which one you guys prefer down in the comments below. There's some other ghosts, though obviously not kind of in the same green color scheme. Lisa and Elise here, the twins that were in the two pack. That's uh, I don't know, slightly starting to peg warm. This is like the uh, in Cars One. You guys know that one scene where it's like in McQueen's dream, where the tractor like wins or whatever. Uh, Frank wins and. Then, there's like the Danico showgirls are kissing him. This is kind of, <laughs> looks like that, but with the ghosts. Um, I don't know, that was just a random thought. But uh, yeah, uh, the, like I said, the two-pack, starting to peg them a little bit. I'm seeing a lot more of the, uh, those two-packs from that case. They were at one point hard to find, but now, obviously not so much. The um, Hall, Hall and Haynes uh, two-pack is very uh, peg warm. I mean, that one's, you can find that one easily. Lisa and Luis, a little less so, but I think you can find it if you go to that one. Be awfully difficult but uh yeah 
There you can see kind of the ghost collection that we have so far. I think it looks pretty cool. Cool, and I would love to see them continue to expand it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of Tractor Ghost. Uh, and if you had to come up with a name for him, let me know what would you name him that isn't such a boring name like Tractor Ghost. Let me know all that down in the comments below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.